click subscribe and bell icon to get regular notifications. Hi, I am Dr. Sunil Dashupali. I am an orthopedic joint replacement and sports medicine surgeon at Ishoda Hospital, Somachikuda. See, a person having an injury, like a road traffic accident, if he has an injury of a head, having a head injury which needs a neurosurgeon, spine injury, needing a spine surgeon, then uh, no vessels injury, that is blood vessels which needs a vascular surgeon, nerves injury, needing a plastic surgeon, and then chest injury, which might need a CT surgeon, bones fractured around, which will need an orthopedic surgeon. So this is a teamwork. Now you can have certain, you, can, you must have seen some uh, you know, industrial injuries wherein the vessels are cut, the hand is cut suddenly and the portion is severed like you have seen recently in one of the videos where a policeman had the injury. So in these scenarios you want a team of doctors to work together and uh, you know they can do justice to the patient to bring back the organ to work to normalcy. Now along with this not only the things that you can see there are some things that are hidden inside like these soft structures like your lungs your heart your abdominal organs you can have liver kidney so so a person can have multiple injuries hence we need a specialty center which deals with polytrauma atls is acute trauma life support and this is a training that is done for most of the western hospitals when i was in london it is an obligation that any surgeon should have this atls certificate the reason being we are being taught the sequence of attending to patients now i can have a patient who's bleeding in the leg at the same time he's having difficulty in breathing now if i concentrate on the bleeding leg that patient will die because of shortness of breath so we are being trained to see how to make a patient survive so this is ATLS wherein we go stepwise from airway to the other areas so that we don't get distracted from the injuries that seem obvious but even a small bleeding wound might not take the patient's life away but choking and patient not breathing for minutes or seconds can die. So at Ashoda we are all trained in these techniques and we are trained to attend to the patients as a team so it's usually the person having the major injury will be admitted in the primary surgeon who will take the lead and usually we have a round table discussion as to what are all the injuries that the patient has and then we call it triage. Triage is we want to see which area needs attention first. Now imagine if we get a hell of a load of patients having lots of injuries then we try to segregate the patients into patients who are anyway dying to patients who we can you know survive them and patients who we can treat them at a later date or later time so our concentration is to get the maximum survivals so we try to triage and the doctors are allocated accordingly so this is what is trained this is what is taught in ATLS the person having a road traffic accident or any major injury first thing we should remember is there are some things that we can see and some things we don't. Now we get a lot of patients, we think you know the patient must have had some hand injury, elbow injury or shoulder. We try to concentrate areas and sometimes we, we might even ignore small things like fingers. Okay, It's just an example. Now I might have done a perfect operation for the long bones in the hand or the forearm and get perfectly healed and I might have missed a small finger injury or fingers. Later on the patient might have you know injury like that deformity where that is how the healing and if you imagine the right hand is most important for your day-to-day -day activity imagine a person like this and he is unable to do so we have to see the functional uh, importance as well so if you come to a specialty center like Ashoda, we are all trained like i discussed earlier like atls and uh, the surgeons are trained to go as you know orderly fashion so that we don't miss even the minutest of the injuries and there will be a person with a chart with a body diagram he'll be taking all the injured organs whatever doubt we have we take an x-ray or the image of that area to make sure there is no injury not only the bones ligaments or like i said the vessels you can have internal organs 
wherein we have to do a CT scan or an ultrasound scan. So at the end of the day, we want to examine the patient as a whole, jot down the injuries and then make a plan as to which is life threatening. Now, once if you come to a super specialty hospital like this, where you have the senior most well-trained surgeons in all the aspects, not only surgeons, you need physicians, you need anesthetists, it's a teamwork. Okay, so we have a fantastic set of uh, team wherein they are very well trained and the communication. The most important thing is patient. We want the life of the patient. We have to plan accordingly. What we do is we plan as to which needs attention first. Like you know, if the patient has a simple hole that goes into the heart, it's no brainer. That needs attention first rather than a bone which is fractured and the lip is dangling. I would say. Mine is the last, first you proceed. So this is how we discuss, we have a round table discussion and then we jot down and we also see, is it safer to do all the surgeries at the same time or can we go step fashion? There is something called secondary insult. Now doing so many operations also can put the patient through so much trauma that he can't withstand. So we want to see the physiological reserve of the patient and the age group of the patient, whether they can you know, sustain this type of uh, you know, surgery they're going to have and then plan accordingly. Not all injuries need surgery. Some just need splinting. Some needs observation. So if you have a senior person with their experience, they can decide which we can wait on. If you have junior most, they are, you know, I don't find fault for them. Even I've come from a junior stage, but they will be in a difficult situation to take a decision if they have a scenario like this having so many injuries. So always it's better that you have a senior consultant attending to you, which we have at Yashoda so much good. I mean, I wouldn't say only Yashoda hospital. I would say the super specialty centers, uh, which have uh, the poly trauma team. We have very few centers in Hyderabad and in Telangana on the whole, very few centers which can handle emergencies like this. Most important thing you should remember, it's, it's a patient's life. A quick decision taken in time is going to take, save a patient's life. So you don't want to run around to one or two hospitals, have one you know, specialty treating one area, then you're shifted to some other hospital treating that area. You don't want to run around. If you want the patient there and the doctors running around the patient. That is what you want. There are very few centers having all these specialties together at one place. So that is why at Yashoda we are proud to say we have all the specialties available at one center and the senior most consultants serving the patients.